Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be my May update for my spring project Use It Up. So this is the last month of the spring project. So I'm trying to get through as much as I possibly can this month and we will end on the last day of the month and then we will start the summer project. I'm really excited. I've got a lot of nice like coconutty fresh summer scents like lined up ready to go. I just got to get through a lot of stuff before then. So let me go ahead and update you on what I finished and then the progress that I've made. And I am introducing just a few little things before we end off the project. Okay, so let's start with the most exciting things first and that's empties. So I actually finished off three perfumes. Now they're all minis, so they're not like that amazing, but I'm still glad that I finished them. So let's go through those first. So I do have two little samples here. I have the Juliet uh, Has a Gun not a perfume. This one um, I hadn't used before this past month. I really enjoyed the scent. It definitely lingered. It had a great like staying power on my skin and I really liked it. So I would totally consider getting a full size or at least like a larger um, <laughs> size to try of this, maybe a rollerball or something. So that was really good. And then I also finished off Coconut Palm from the Mix Bar, just like a little, again, sample. I love this stuff. It looks like there's still a little left, but it won't spray anymore. I wish it would because I literally loved this scent and I might buy this in a full size, but if you guys know of any coconut perfume scent, let me know that down below because I'm really looking for one to buy for the summertime. And then I finished off a deluxe size sample of the Kaoli Vanilla 28 perfume. This one I was a little, a little more than halfway done at the last update, so I finished it off completely. I love this scent. It is so scrum diddly umptious <laughs> and it's so amazing. I definitely want the full size. I might ask for it for my birthday um, or I might wait until the fall because it, to me it's like a very cozy scent. I don't know if I would wear this during the summertime. So yeah, I don't know, but I definitely plan on eventually getting a full size of it because it is so good. Moving on to moisturizers that I finished. First I have Enchanted Candy Potion in the body cream. I cut this one open to get to the last little bit. And I was pretty far down last time I showed you guys, I was like right about here. I had maybe five uses left once I cut it open. So definitely recommend cutting open your body creams because you can get a lot more out of them. But this smell was amazing. The scent was amazing. It is Spellbinding Sugar, Bewitched Berries and Whipped Pixie Dust. Just like a really nice sugary sweet berry scent and I really enjoyed it. I definitely think this is a year round scent, not just like a Halloween scent like they tried to make it. Um, but I really liked the packaging and I thought it was really cute. Um, just definitely not like a Halloween scent in my eyes, I don't know. And then I also finished off the VS Pink Basic Vanilla Body Lotion. This one honestly was not worth it for me to cut open to finish off. Um, here was my progress, so from here to here and then finish. Um, I liked it, it was nice. Um, it was definitely not the most moisturizing thing I've ever used. It wasn't the most fragrant thing I've ever used, but it was fine. It was nice and simple enough to kind of mix with any scent, which was actually the best part about it, that it was so simple that it mixed well with everything. Um, but on the flip side, it didn't really have any lasting power and it really didn't moisturize that well. Um, I would still consider buying another VS Pink lotion in the future if there was a scent that I liked, just like I wasn't overwhelmed with loving this. Like it was not a rave for me, it was just nice, you know? Now on the opposite end of the spectrum, we have Wrapped in Vanilla in the Shower Gel that I finished. This is amazing and I would totally repurchase this entire set. Here's my progress line. So from here to right here, to down to here, and then I finished it. Loved this scent, it's just an amazing vanilla. It's Soft Vanilla Velvet Sugar Chantilly Creme. This is a whipped buttercream vanilla like so yummy, it smells just like icing. It's like unbelievable how amazing this smelled. I think I'm gonna have to get another full size set off of Mercari just because I absolutely adored it and it was so amazing. And the last thing that I have here is the Creme Shop X Hello Kitty Caramel Pumpkin Latte Scrub. I like this one. Um, here's the progress lines you can see from here to here to here and then I finished it. I was really focused on finishing this one last month. This did have an odd consistency. It was more of like a body mask than it was a scrub and it got my shower so dirty because it has these little granules of like coffee grounds in it 
that just got everywhere. So that kind of sucked about it. I don't think I would buy another creme shop one that has those like granules because it got all over my shower and just was like really messy. But I did like the scent and I like the idea of having like a body mask on. It says you're supposed to exfoliate it into your skin and then leave it on for like five minutes, which is what I did. And it felt really nice. I just hated that the formula left my shower all dirty and gross. So yeah, kind of on the fence about this one. But for empties, I finished off four full size and three minis. So that is seven total that I finished off. My goal was actually six. So I'm above my goal. So right now I've finished off 11 products. So I'm only four away from my goal, which is to finish up 15 products in the spring project. So I'm pretty close. So I'm gonna show you guys what I have progress on and see what I can't finish off in the next month. Okay, let's start with my coffee routine. I'm doing pretty good on this. So I have the Midnight Amber Glow Shower Gel in the project and I've gotten some good progress on it. So we were up here last time I updated you guys and now we're down to here. So I definitely did good. I'm really enjoying this one. It's great for morning showers and actually for like late night showers too. Like, I don't know, it's just like a really nice scent. So I'm really loving it and um, definitely think I could, if I focus on this one, I could have this one finished off. And then I have the Vanilla Mocha Cream Body Cream, which I really need to finish off in the next month because it is very yellow. Um, I haven't really noticed the scent changing. It's getting like a little bit to where it will be changing. So I'm gonna try and finish this off in the next month. I made some good progress in the last month from here to here. So I'm doing pretty good. And I definitely think if I focus on it, I can finish it off because I don't have a lot left. So I could definitely finish it and I want to because I don't want it to go bad. And for the Fine Fragrance Mist, I had a little mini in Midnight Amber Glow. And I got a little bit of progress on this one. You probably can't even see, but I just got a little bit. Um, I was using this like every now and then when I remembered that I had it or when I was craving a coffee scent in the morning, but nothing special. I'm just gonna keep, you know, working on this, not really like focused on finishing it, um, but I'm really enjoying it. And then this one, I'm actually really proud of my progress. This is the Midnight Amber Glow Creamy Body Scrub that I put in in the last project. And I was about a third of the way done. And as you can see, I've cut it open and I've only got a little bit left. So I can't open it for you guys because it's actually like really juicy. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff in here still. So I definitely have like maybe five or more showers to go with this, but I could totally finish it off by the end of the project. So that makes me really excited. So next I'll just go ahead and jump into my vanilla routine. And I have the vanilla Shea Sugar Scrub from Tree Hut. And progress on this one, I've made quite a bit from up here to down to here. So I am almost halfway on this one, not quite. Um, I'm enjoying it just because it is like a very coarse scrub and I enjoy that maybe once or twice a week. But the scent is nothing special to me, honestly. I think I said this last time, but it's more of a cashmere than it is vanilla at all. So I wish it smelled like wrapped in vanilla, but to me, it's just like a warm and cozy scent, which is great, but I expected a vanilla, so it's kind of disappointing. I don't know. So I'm just gonna keep working on this one. And then I've got some good progress on Whipped Vanilla Chiffon. So in the Fine Fragrance Mist, you can see right here, I went from here to here. So doing really good on this one. Um, I hope I can finish it off. You guys, I've been trying really hard. Um, at least for a few weeks out of last month, I was spraying this every single day a lot and like spraying it on my bed sheets, spraying it on the couch, like really trying hard. And that's how much progress I made. And I tried really hard. I could have tried harder this past week though, honestly, but yeah, I'm just gonna keep trying hard and hopefully I'll have it finished before the end of the spring because I really don't have much left. And yeah, I know you guys like make fun of me for not <laughs> using fine fragrances enough. I know it's a struggle for me too. I just literally forget about them. Like for a whole solid week, I'll go through like a lot and then I'll just forget about it. So I just need to be so much better about them. Yeah, hoping I can finish this one off. So pray for me on that one. And then I have it in the shower gel as well. I've been loving this scent in the shower. I went from here to here. So making some good progress. Um, I don't know if this one will be finished off, but I'll try to finish them both off at the same time because I feel like that would just be, you know, the right thing to do. But I'm really enjoying it. It's a nice, just like, what is it? Peach blossom? Yeah, white peach blossom, wild vanilla bean sponge sugar. Just like a nice, simple, sugary scent. So finishing those off. And then because I finished off everything else that went with wrapped in vanilla, which was the shower gel and the VS Pink basic vanilla lotion, I haven't used this fine fragrance mist like at all. So yeah, I'm probably gonna take this out of the project um, just because I don't feel like I'm gonna use it in the next month and I'm really gonna focus on 
um, whipped vanilla chiffon. So yeah, taking this out of the project just because I don't really have anything else to pair it with and I've got other focuses that I need to work on. And then I'm gonna put in a new vanilla perfume because I finished off my Kaoli one. So I'm putting in the Skylar Vanilla Sky perfume. I just got this from the Sephora sale. This came in like probably last week um, and I've tried it a few times. So I'm excited to get to wear it a little bit more often, see what I think of it. Definitely not like gonna try and finish it off, but I'll just see how much progress I can make just using it when I want to throughout the next month. So yeah, it is pretty much um, at the very tippy top. So excited to use this one. And then I am gonna put in this just random Chanel Chance mini perfume that I got. Um, I found that having a nice like upscale perfume to wear throughout the month is just really nice for me. So I'm just gonna have this one in the project and I'll use it, you know, on occasion when I feel like I wanna be a little bit more high class. Maybe we're going out to dinner. Maybe we're going out with friends, whatever. And I wanna have something that'll last all night. So that is what this one's gonna be. And I'll just try it out and let you guys know what I think. Okay, moving on to my like berry routine. So this one has kind of changed a little bit because I did have Enchanted Candy Potion going with Champagne Toast. So this one's gone now. So it's gonna be more of like a combo of strawberry champagne toast. So we'll see how that goes this month. But progress on my Champagne Toast Fine Fragrance Mist is going really well. So as you can see, this is my progress from the last month to now. Um, doing pretty good and I really don't have that much left. So I'd love to get this finished off before the end of the project. Again, I just need to be better about using these up, honestly. Um, I've been using them as like furniture spray and stuff like that too. So I'm just gonna keep using as much as possible and I really would love to have this finished off by the end of the project. In the shower, I'm using strawberry guava coconut and I haven't really gotten that much progress on it in the last month. So we went from here to here. This is like a lot of shower gel. I'm just now realizing in here, this is 16 ounces. It smells so good though. Versus the Bath and Body Works, which is 10 ounces. So yeah, this one's gonna take me a while to get through, but I'll just keep working on it. I really do like this scent, especially when I'm feeling like a berry kind of like summery vibe. So loving this one. And then I do have strawberry pound cake in. I've been using the lotion a lot. You can see my progress here from here to here. Doing pretty good on it. I definitely expect to get some more progress on it in the next month. Just because we're going into the warmer months, I'm not going to really want a body cream as much anymore. So this one's going to be really useful then. And then for the strawberry pound cake fine fragrance mist, I didn't really get any progress last month because I was focusing on champagne toast so much. So I will keep this in though, just in case I want to like layer with champagne toast or something. Um, still enjoying it, but like not focusing on it. And then I still have the Ariana Grande Sweet Like Candy perfume in here. Um, I definitely think I've used a lot more than last time. I think I was at halfway at the last update and it doesn't sound like there's a lot left in here. That's the problem with having this kind of packaging. You can't really tell how much is left, but I think I did make some good progress on it and I hope that I can finish it off in the next month. And then I'm putting one last little mini from the mix bar in Glass Rose. Um, I'm curious to see if I like this one because um, never tried a rose perfume scent. You guys know I don't like florals. So you know what? I'm going to test it on camera with you guys right now. Wow, it's really rosy. It's not bad, but I definitely would not choose this as my everyday scent. I know some people love rose and I could get it. Like some people it smells amazing on, but me, myself and I... I'm not the biggest rose fan. It smells really powdery, but I'm gonna try to force myself to get through this, especially if like we do a date night or something. I feel like this would be really nice um, to pair with champagne toast and stuff like that. So I'm gonna try and work through this. And this will be my last mix bar perfume that I have from the little sample set that I bought. Probably in the fall, I think was when I bought that. So yeah, gonna be working on this one. Okay, so that is it for the spring project use it up update. This is the last update, like I said. I will give you guys the finale at the end of the month, so look forward to that. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead, subscribe now. Turn on your bell notification so you're notified when that goes up. But yeah, I have four more products to get through by the end of the month, and I think I could really do it. Uh, wish me luck on this fine fragrance miss, you guys. I'm gonna really power through it and try to finish them off for you. So yeah, that's everything for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.